Hello cadets, Dr. Cook here. This is uh, MS200. We're going to be talking about scheme of maneuver. All right, so um, we left off talking about concept of operations. All right, now concept of operations was a top level surface view of what's going on. All right, we try and just hit the, the broad idea of what we're doing, the concept, right? But now I need you to transition and start thinking about the scheme of maneuver, which goes into depth. All right, and we get into the details. So concept of the operation, we gave a broad brush. We talked about when things start and end, and we would show it with a concept sketch. It was just a sketch, all right? And in the sketch, we talked about some of our LD and our phase lines, but we had a focus on our actions. Things weren't to scale. Now that we're getting to the scheme of maneuver, we're gonna deep dive into all of the nitty gritty details, right? Which means we're gonna break things out by phase. Not just that there are phases, but every phase going into depth with detail what happens in that phase and then go to the next phase and deep dive into that and so on all right and now visually for this we're going to use an operations overlay all right the operations overlay is tied to the terrain things are actually in the right spots by grid coordinate on the map uh, it, precisely where we want them all right when we brief it we can use the overlay or we can use a terrain model all right to show how things are going um, and we do have a comment here make sure you understand that on the operations overlay all of our control measures even though they're friendly control measures they go in black all right so control measures get shown in black uh, our friendly units um, normally being in blue enemy in red right but control measures are in black okay so let's talk about the scheme of maneuver in kind of a big picture we're going to brief the scheme of maneuvering using our map or our sand table. All right, now I'm starting out here with something that kind of looks like that concept sketch. We've got our phases, our key areas going from the assembly area to the objective and beyond, and phase lines in between there. Now we have a set of tasks that are going to go along with each phase and details we have to talk about those. So let's break those down. All right, in phase one, all right. We're in the assembly area. What are all the things we're going to do while we're in the assembly area to get us up to the line of departure? All right, what are the priorities of rehearsal? What's our timeline? When will op orders be issued? When are back briefs gonna occur? PCIs, PCCs, what kind of tasks do we all have to do? How are we drawing any special equipment or ammo we need? Those are all things that we need to detail in our scheme maneuver for phase one. Now here's kind of an example from the battle book page uh, that shows you some of those things and what they all look like, how we might specify them. As you can see, we, we got to make sure we hit all the different items, but there's not a, necessarily a lot of detail given here and it doesn't have to be. We can give as much detail as we need to to be clear to our troops. All right, when we get to phase two, now we're in the movement phase. So we got to get from the LD to the ORP. What things do we need to tell our soldiers to give them a lot of detail, all right? What kind of distance and directions are we moving at? Forms of movement, formations that we're in, how fast are we gonna move? When do we have checkpoints? What are we gonna do when we halt, all right? Are we just gonna go to the side of the road? Are we gonna set out security? Are we gonna send out a screen line? What are we doing? When are we eating? When are we uh, taking a break to change our socks? Sleeping if we need to, if we've got a long movement, all right? Contingency plans for casualties. How are we going to medevac during these different portions of the movement if something happens? Um, what reports do we need to send up? These are all details we need to get into. All right, now here's an example of someone filling out the battle book with all those kind of details, uh, being specific about what things we're going to tell our troops for that phase of the operation. All right, and these are all things that apply during that phase, not the rest of the phases. All right, so then we can talk about phase three. When we're setting the conditions or isolating the objective, all right, how are we doing a leader's recon? All right, who will go on the leader's recon? What is it looking for? What are the objectives and purposes for doing that recon? All right, when are we going to engage the enemy? Because remember, at this point, we're moving up towards the objective. We might see them. We might get visual contact with the enemy. Do we want to engage? All right, or are we going to wait until things develop? Well, what if they start shooting at us and we're compromised? Do we shoot back? You know, what is our criteria, right? Maybe it's based on how many troops are out there. We gotta get those kind of details. Locations of the key leaders, who are they moving with? Where will they be on the battlefield to confirm things before the attack starts? Adjacent units, reports we have to send up, 
um, things we have to tell our hire. We want to, even though we might be the ones that have to call the company commander and send up a report, we want to include that in the order. So if something happens to the platoon leader, whoever is acting platoon leader that takes over will understand that information and continue the mission and make sure it all happens. All right, here's an example of the phase three battle book filled out with all those details. You can read this and look over it. All right. So we get into phase four, all right, actions on the objective, right? What will be the initiation for the attack? That is a very key critical thing we have to make sure we include, all right? What indirect fires are we using? What is our plan for the actual actions on the objective? What is gonna happen on the objective, all right? If we're gonna lift and shift fires, where, how, when, how do we signal that? Pace plans for communication to make sure it all happens. Where are the key leaders during all of this? Uh, any special teams that are going to be going on um, in addition to our assault force. Uh, adjacent units reports you have to send up again. We've got to include all those things, give details of exactly how are things going to go down on the objective. Here's a battle book filled out uh, to show those kind of details, things you can tell your soldiers to capture that as you're briefing it. Which brings us all the way to phase five. Once we're done on the objective, we got to reconsolidate. We either got to exfil out, we got to move on to the next uh, mission, we got to prepare for counterattack, whatever it is, we need to tell our troops what happens in phase five. Right, are we setting a hasty defense? How are we pulling security? E uh, even if it's just while we're policing up EPWs and our friendly casualties, how are we handling local security at that point? All right, what squads are responsible for what sectors? Things like that. Um, enemy activity we might expect during this time. What is the pace plan? What reports have to get sent up afterwards? And then what is the big activity we're gonna do after, right? Are we gonna set uh, or get out of there? And how is that gonna happen? Who do we call? All, right. All those details include. Here's an example of phase five filled out on the battle book. I'll give you an idea of the types of things someone might put in there. This is just an example. All right, so that's kind of the overview of the schema maneuver portion. Just make sure you understand that the concept sketch and the concept statement give a broad brush for the entire mission and spell out what the phases are and kind of when things start and end in a big picture way. The schema maneuver is the deep dive details broken down by phase and giving details for every single phase that someone could actually execute and follow uh, in all its nitty gritty uh, information.